Well, hello, everybody. Um, it's Congressman Jamie Raskin coming to you all from uh, Maryland's beautiful 8th Congressional District. Uh, welcome to a celebration of my 8th uh, District Congressional Arts Competition. Always a favorite time of the year for us. I want to extend the warmest possible welcome to our students, uh, their moms and dads, their brothers and sisters, their cousins and uncles and aunts and friends, teachers, school administrators, and um, our hardworking judges who have uh, made the Sixth Congressional Art Competition possible because we do not uh, assign this job um, to me or anyone else who is not remotely qualified to do it. We have real professional artists working. Uh, as you know, every spring, the U.S. House of Representatives sponsors this National High School Students Art, Student Arts Competition. Um, it's an opportunity to recognize and promote the awesome artistic talent of our nation's youngest artists. And uh, since the Artistic Discovery Competition began way back in 1982, when I was in high school, uh, more than 650,000 high school students have participated. So that's an extraordinary thing. Um, there's no better exhibition of the boundless artistic vision and virtuoso skills of our young people across the 8th District than the submissions we've seen in the Congressional Arts Competition. These pieces uh, by students from our district offer an amazing glimpse into the future of American art. And I wanna thank all the participants in advance for sharing their gifts with the people of the 8th District, which are gonna be uh, available for everybody to uh, behold and to celebrate. Um, I want to thank our great partner, VizArts, for once again enabling uh, our online submission program, the first in the country, which has become a model for other congressional districts uh, across America. VizArts was founded 30 years ago as a grassroots group serving local artists in Rockville. Today, they manage a 25,000 square foot beautiful art hub, providing kids, teens, and adults with opportunities to express their talents and to develop their work. Um, a special thanks goes to the gallery and exhibition staff, to executive director Alice Nappy and Frank McCauley, um, the gallery's director and curator who sets up and facilitates all of our online submissions. Um, all right, so uh, the, as talented as our students are, there's no doubt that their teachers and parents play a great role in helping to develop uh, your talents. So we wanna thank the parents and the teachers for everything that you do to support uh, your children and your students. Um, each year it's professional artists from the eighth district who volunteer their time and expertise to review the submissions based on their training, their education, their hard work. They judge each piece individually on elements of creativity, originality, composition, and design. The judges for this year's competition include Caroline Lewis, who's a scientific illustrator for the Smithsonian and the illustrator of the award-winning children's book, Miss Switch's Bath Saba and the Cat's Caper, Ruth Losner, the Professor Emerita of Art from the University of Maryland, um, who is a fellow of the Royal Society of Art in the UK and a member of the National Education Committee of the Cooper Hewitt Museum, the design museum of the Smithsonian, uh, Kathy Abramson, who's an artist with a studio at Artists and Makers Studios in Rockville, and she has shown her pieces all over the DMV region. Ronald Beverly, who's a professor and program coordinator of photography and the Media Arts Gallery Director at Montgomery College at the Rockville campus right near our district office. And finally, Jeff McMillan, who is a professional photographer of several decades, who's uh, work has been featured prominently throughout the media, including U.S. News and World Report, Washington Post, and many other uh, media outlets. So we want to thank all of them for the amazing amount of time and effort they put into going through all of the submissions and treating their assignment with so much care. I want to thank my staff for coordinating the competition, especially Nina Weisbroth and Sarah Lev, who've been the co-facilitators for the art competition. And special thanks to my intern, Joe Skinner Grant, who assembled the slideshow that you're gonna see. And to Josie Clark, my press assistant, and Jacob Wilson, my communications director, who provided lots of support for the arts competition. So we can see that all of this gets out there and everybody please feel free 
to uh, share news of the competition with your classmates and friends and relatives and so on. This year, we had more than 130 submissions from 30 schools across the eight, which um, you know includes Montgomery, Frederick and Carroll counties. Uh, alas, I'm losing my Frederick and Carroll County portions um, in the new reapportionment and redistricting. Um, but uh, we have loved serving uh, the schools, our partners in Frederick and Carroll County, and uh, have been thrilled um, to see the extraordinary artwork that's been submitted by the kids from these areas. Um, we put together a nine minute slideshow to share the amazing work of these students. At the end of the show, I am going to announce our runners up and the winner of the 2022 8th District Congressional Arts Competition. So Josie, if you would, please start the show and everybody watch it and I'll be back.
Wow, I, I am sure you guys agree with me that that was just extraordinary and spellbinding. And uh, I had not seen all of the submissions put together like that. Most of them I had not seen before. So it was truly remarkable and amazing work. Uh, and I'm very glad I was not one of the judges. And I want to praise the judges even more at this point because that was an impossible task uh, we gave to you because there were so many uh, just young people's masterpieces in there. So thank you all for that. Um, that was amazing. All right, well now um, it is my um, great pleasure to announce uh, the following 25 students whose artwork has been selected as runners up in the competition. Um, their artwork will hang in my district office for a year before we return it. And uh, then a lot of them have ended up in the high schools or I don't know, some of them may have been sold or the, the moms and dads and families get to keep them. But in any event, um, if you want, we get to keep them for a year and we get to uh, enjoy them and to, to appreciate the amazing talent and vision and spirit of the art. So um, here are the 25 students uh, who uh, have been named the, the runner, runners up um, in the competition. So uh, first is Erin Malone with her work Behind the Curtain and she's at Einstein High School. Congratulations to you, Erin. Next is Ella Lepkowski with her work uh, from Candlestick, called Candlestick and she's from Einstein High School. And look at that, thank you so much, um, amazing. Julia Angel, uh, whose uh, work is titled Chess Match, uh, Richard Montgomery High School. I might have to steal that one for the year and put that up in my office where I've got a chess set. Uh, that's uh, extraordinary. Thank you, Julia. Uh, James Moncour, whose uh, work is titled City of Earth and City of God. He's at Landon. Great work, James. Olivia Vaughn. Uh, this is titled Fabric Study, and she's at Stone Ridge School of the Sacred Heart. Look at that. Um, Alexandra Erichta, title First Love. She's at Thomas Wooten High School. Very powerful. Thank you, Alexandra. Um, Olivia Adams, her work is called Golden Hour. She's at Oakdale High School. Uh, Catherine Yoon. Grandpa and His Daily Task from Holton Arms. Very engaging work there. Um, Keegan Wheeler, this is called Healing from Oakdale High School. Juliana Nefflin, Hope and Pressure from Westminster High School. Amazing work, Juliana. Uh, Darcy Hoffpour, um, I'm Retiring Reality. She's at the Siena School. This is photography. Check that out. Um, Devin Elliott, Loyal and Joyful. Loyal and sorry, Loyal and Joyful from Liberty High School. Loyal and Joyful, Devin Elliott. That's beautiful. Um, Charles Friedman, Majestic Maryland from Thomas Wooten High School. Very evocative of our state. Great work, Charles. Just um, that's just beautiful. Um, Celie Montgomery, my own space, Century High School. Look at that, transfixing. Um, Tamar Oliel, this is called The Real Me from Charles E. Smith, Jewish Day School. So powerful, great work, Tamar. Um, Sydney Reed. This is called Reed from Albert Einstein High School. Beautiful, powerful work. Um, Anthony Bonilla. This is Sad Jester from Albert Einstein. Intense, incredible work. Thank you, Anthony. Margaret Galker, spaced out from Middletown High School. That's with colored pencils. Remarkable. Thank you, Margaret. Yao Jun Lin. This is called Touching. She's at Georgetown, or he's at Georgetown Prep. 
touching. Uh, that's great. Thank you, Yao Um Isella Pearson, transformation from Oakdale High School. Very powerful. Thank you, Isella Pearson. Great, great job. Um, Elsa Bell, this is called Tying Flies, Holton Arms School. This is Duyen Fan called Virus from Blair High School. Great work, amazing work. Um, this is um, Sydney Spradlin, Words Like Knives from Linganore High School, computer generated art. Wonderful. Uh, Megan Neal, the title of this is Working Classroom in, I think it's, called gouch paint, gouch paint, but what a remarkable piece this is. Um, and Megan's at Einstein High School, just amazing. Um, Ella Spiritus, um, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce this, uh, but she's at Einstein High School. It's in acrylic paint in paper 3D. I think it's not true, perhaps. Um, but what a dazzling piece that is. Great work, Ella. All right, um, and I've come to the end of our 25 runners up, and now I am uh, delighted to announce um, the winner of the 2022 Congressional Art Competition. I wanna emphasize that uh, this is just the most extraordinary uh, cast of pieces we've ever seen, and I wanna salute all of our artists for your uh, remarkable hard work and for your participation and we hope that you will continue to develop your talents as you go forward. Uh, the winner is um, Isabel Akun Marin of Albert Einstein High School. She was selected for her piece called Tia Mona. And this artwork, um, which you see now, which is uh, so remarkable, will be displayed in the US Capitol building for one year with artwork from every congressional district um, in the nation. Uh, I'll get to look at it every day that I walk from my office in the Rayburn building uh, over to the Capitol to vote. Um, and congratulations, Isabel. I don't know if you are out there, Isabel. Um, I hope you're happening to be watching right now. Are, are you are you in the audience someplace? Yes, I'm here. Hey. Oh, good. Well, look, congratulations. Um, we're very proud of you. And do you wanna say something about your piece? What inspired you to, to paint this and how you did it? Thank you, thank you so much. Well, this is my aunt. Um, uh, she's also my godmother. And well, she was, she is a very important person for me and uh, growing up in Colombia. And yeah, I decided to paint her and with colors to represent her personality and yeah. <laughs> Well, she looks like a, a very strong and forceful and compassionate woman. Is yes. that is that accurate, or what does she what does she mean to you? Well, uh, she kind of raised me in a way, and uh, yeah, she she's a very strong woman. And uh, every time I'm feeling sad, I call her. She's in Colombia, actually. So, and yeah, she's very important to me. Um, have you shared the piece with her? Has she seen it? Yes, she has. Um, what did she say about it? She loves it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we love it too. And I'm going to get to enjoy it every day on my way to the Capitol. Um, I want to thank you for doing it. And uh, are you a senior, Isabel? I'm a, I'm a junior. You're a junior. Okay, so you got some time to go. Well, look, I want to thank all of the seniors and the juniors, the sophomores and the freshmen, everybody for participating. If you're still gonna be in high school next year, you get to participate again. Um, and we hope everybody keeps cultivating uh, their talents and their gifts. And we know that uh, Montgomery County and Frederick and Carroll are places that love art. And so we're hoping that all of you will get opportunities to display your art, to sell your art and to keep developing your gifts. Um, and we know how important it is for everybody to be involved in some form of expression because it's been such a tough time for young people with the COVID-19 and the isolation and the demoralization. And you guys are the antidote to that. So thank you for bringing a lot of joy and a lot of depth to our experience. Uh, thanks to all the artists, the moms and dads, 
Um, tell people the slideshow will continue to be available on my United States House of Representatives website where all of the pieces will be uh, available for people to check out. I look forward to next year and I hope to seeing all of you guys in person soon. Uh, and thank you for joining me, everybody. And thanks to our staff for making it possible.